right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. He cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. The Giant! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Hong Kong. The Apex! All right, good to lose in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to your corners, and nothing. So here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're going to get a kickboxing match here in the office. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. And they separate. Takedown defense holds up. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back in range. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. How good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm gassing out just watching this thing. I'm exhausted trying to call <laughs> all the strikes that these two men are throwing at each other. What a fun fight. Yeah, hate to be the punch counter tonight. <laughs> really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Spinning back fist. 
blocks the shot. Big putt lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Ooh, found a home for that knee. Time these shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Just unable to quite find that range. Ooh, big shot to the body. Oh, and he caught the kick. Nice punch, Lance. Blocks the shot. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, you're going to shut your body off. Big clinch position. Watch him get busy with that other hand. Look at the turtle in that kick. Oh, eats a knee to the head. Punches block. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Looks like it did stun him a little bit. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left. Oh! Just out of range with that kick attempt. Both of these guys going all out. High action fight here. Just misses with the right hook. Block that kick to the body. Nice straight punch. That one appeared to stun him. News hurt. Whoa! Oh, big left hook there. All right, he engages in oh, the nice single Nice job with the takedown. He scrambled to his feet. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbow's tucked to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Taibo class or something like that. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Oh, collar tie. Nice punch lands over the top. All right, so once again, they will clinch, and we will see which fighter is able to advance their position. For you. Who's going to be the first one to attempt the takedown? Both of our combatants have the ability to score and secure the position. Who's going to be the one that makes the first move? All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Tags him with the left, so the right hand has been there. Now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, right. you become really dangerous. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. there to block the shot. Oh, spinning back fist. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Out of range with that kick attempt. Oh, single collar tie here. And there comes the separation now. Well, he's got the reach advantage. He might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. And he landed the right hand there. Beautiful 
punch. Nice elbow lands at range. And that one certainly found the target. Good defense to block the strike coming back. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Kick the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy kick the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to now land. Now the guy's got armbar. He's attacking it on it. He's attacking armbar now. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. It's in there deep. There you go. the win by submission, beautifully executed there on the ground. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliata calls a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 14 seconds of round number 2. To claim the winner by submission, due to an arm bar, the Apex. All right, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was a very tough fight, but he knew that if he did everything right, he can get to his position, which is the ground, and he would be able to find a finish by submission tonight, he did just that.